Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and welcome to another episode of our house falling to pieces. <laughs> so there's been a little bit more work done since we've been away in Wales. Um, I said in my last video we were away for a week so we hadn't been able to film over that week. So it should look quite different to you now when I show you in a minute. Although there's still no outer wall built which he had hoped for. There's been a few issues along the way like the ground underneath the old existing extension has just been concreted on top of time and time again. Like somebody would lay a patio, someone would concrete on top, someone would lay some bricks, someone would concrete on top, which created, well, about a meter's worth of just different floorings, which has been a lot of work for them to kind of dig through all of that and try and get through all the concrete and everything so then they can put in the fresh new concrete properly to build on top of. Um, anyway, it'd probably be easier if I just show you outside. Um, so we'll head out now and I'll give you a little update. So straight away, this is what it looks like outside the back door, which you can see. We have a huge hole, well, a big trench, I mean, outside the back door, which is, how, how deep is that, Ollie? One and a half metres. About one and a half metres deep. So we need to be really careful <laughs> to not walk out this back door and forget and then fall in the trench because that is like really dodgy. Or well, the dogs, imagine the dogs running out and like falling yeah, in. Put... So as you can see, it is looking quite different. I don't know on camera if you can really get an idea of how deep this trench is. I feel like I need to get in it to actually show you how deep it is, which I'm gonna do that. Oh, there's no pipe there. Oh my God. I'm not gonna stay in for long in case it like gives way. But um, if I stand at the deepest part, which is here, the trench is basically the same height as me. So mm -hmm. currently I'm inside the trenches. Dylan, come here, lift you over. Come here. Oh, Dylan. It's alright, it's alright, Dylan. Oh, Dylan, I'm gonna lift you. It's alright. Mummy's got you. Ready? Let's do it this way. I need to get you a little ramp. Ready? Up you go then. Good boy. There you go. You're always flicking me in his tail. Right, careful now. Go away. In the trench, so they've done all of this digging out, which I think has taken, well, the best part of a week, hasn't it? Oh, you're asking me? Well, they don't know. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, a lot, a lot of concrete. Yeah, a lot of we concrete. Didn't, we didn't expect. No, and what I was telling you about is all of these like layers in the wall upstairs, so I couldn't really explain it very well. But yeah, basically, you can see different levels of stuff. So there's brickwork here, then there's more concrete here. Um, and then there's like old patios and yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, but yeah, once they've Dylan. dug all of this out, do they yeah. dig this half out as well? Dogs are like, what is happening to my house? Do they dig this out as well? No, it's staying. So this stays. So this is, oh, so the, the footings just go like around there. And then this is all concrete going in here. Yeah. Okay. This is all a learning process for me as well. So if I ever say anything on the videos that like isn't accurate or whatever, then just know that I don't know much about what I'm talking about. Right, let me get out of here before it caves in. So this is what it is looking like from this angle. Um, so you've got the trench there. I'm calling it a trench. Is that what you'd call it, Ollie? Yes, I yeah. Yeah, it is a trench, really. And then over here, you can see some of the original tiled flooring there. Um, but I don't, that will be obviously covered with our flooring because when it's done, this will be the inside of the house, not the outside. If you haven't watched the last video, I'll link it down below. Dylan. Oh, careful, Dylan. Why are you so crazy? I'm so excited. <laughs> What have you got? What have you got? Oh, belly, he <laughs> stole it. Anyway, what were we saying? So they will be also knocking down this bit and that bit and they will then be putting a whole wall up. So it kind of gives you the idea of how big that extension will be and what difference it will make to the house. We had a slight drama. Ollie, what are you doing? <laughs> you don't want to get rid of it because you know it's yours. 
<laughs> now this is proof that it's yours. No, right, not. basically, Imagine. that's our bathroom up there. I'm shedding you the embarrassment. No, it's not my embarrassment, it's I your embarrassment. Oh. And... <laughs> Mate, I haven't told the story yet, Ollie. Um, so the pipe from our toilet upstairs comes down here and just where Ollie is is where the turn is in it and they've accidentally nicked it with the digger and they've like basically yeah cut a hole in it and when they cut a hole in it <laughs> sorry close your ears if you're a bit squeamish but they found a poo in there <laughs> and it's just like sticking out of the hole and I know that it's not mine because no, it's, it's Ollie I went way before they were even here this morning I'm not no, you didn't. I did. I was no, sick. you. No, I saw you in your lunch break. You. Were... It wasn't me. Ollie came home for his lunch break poo, <laughs> <laughs> and the builders have come across it. I won't put it on YouTube because I wouldn't embarrass Ollie like that. It's got your name all over it. It hasn't got my name. Why are you bringing the camera right here? <laughs> just to prove how much worried you were. I'm not worried. I'm just trying to sort it out. Yeah, but look at the hole that they've made. You can just see there a bit of the hole. This this here is the hole they made. <laughs> this is real life vlogging, Ollie. I'm not going to cut out things that happen. <laughs> this is all part of renovation and the embarrassment of things that happen and people being in your house day in, day out. It's not always the best. The dog's so nosy. Dylan just follows Belle around, though. Belle investigates and then Dylan follows when she's made sure that it's OK. Careful, Dylan. Good boy. But this is the, um, there's a drain cover they found here. We're not quite sure. Do we know what's under that yet, Ollie? I think that's where that goes, that pipe. Oh, so we think this pipe with a hole goes under here to this drain. Get that stick away from me. Poo stick. <laughs> Poo stick. And then you can see here the um, original tiles there. So those are really nice, but yeah, they obviously will be getting covered up because they're outside tiles, whereas this, like I said earlier, is going to be inside. Okay, guys, I wanted to do a quick check-in. Um, it's a few days later since the last footage. I just wanted to show you all of the trench is now dug out. I keep calling it a trench. I think that's pretty much what it's supposed to be called. So it goes all the way down there, along there, and to there. And then it goes see around the corner there as well and then behind here hey Dills. it then goes around to here too um and yeah so today apparently is when all of the concrete's coming so this will start to be filled Right, I've just been doing a little bit of tidying up um, just around the garden just to try and keep things looking well as tidy as possible, which is pretty difficult actually. So I've just been moving some garden furniture around and making a bit more space. Basically, I'm just feeling like at the moment everything is just so messy. You step out in the garden and there's just stuff everywhere. Obviously, we knew this is coming, but I'm just expressing my feelings at the time of feeling them. Um, so yeah, it's, it's hard because as soon as you step out the back door, there's you're just surrounded by stuff and I've also kind of let the rest of the house go as well even though nobody even goes upstairs or anything I've just kind of let that go I think I've just been feeling like while the builders are here I'm not going to be full-on cleaning all the time and stuff so it, it sort of feels like a waste of time but it's made me a little bit lazy because upstairs I could easily clean. Belle's currently shouting at me because she needs help to come across the ditch back in. I want to tell her to wait. Belle wait and I'll help you in a minute. Wait a minute. But the dogs are actually um, absolutely fine. They don't mind at all. They bark a little bit when the builders turn up and sometimes when there's noises and whatever, but most of the time they're pretty chilled and not bothered about the work. And then every so often we just go out in the garden with them like I've just been now. And I just take them out for a little wee, but yeah, all this stuff here, they're not even bothered by. And they don't even try and enter the ditch, thank God. Um, and then they just wait and I just have to help Belle 
across that she's totally stuck, she can't get round. And Dylan just sits here. Right, come on then, I'll help you in. Come round here. Holding on. Good boy. And then, in you go. Good boy. Also, as I'm filming these updates, I hope that nothing's too boring, because obviously at this moment, um, a lot of the videos are kind of the same. The stitch has been built for the last sort of couple of weeks, and the same kind of work's going on. So it's quite hard to film dramatic updates. It's kind of just showing you the whole process, really. But let me know if you'd rather that I did a longer gap between videos and showed you more in each video or whether you just don't mind having a video a week or a couple videos a week of just general updates of what's going on currently. I'm hoping that the concrete is, it was supposed to be coming today, so I'm hoping it's going to be coming and then tomorrow I should be able to show you a little bit more and maybe we'll get some footage of this being filled with concrete, which I think that sounds like it might be satisfying. But anyway, we'll let's see how that goes. Okay, little update. We are, I think, I'd say about half full with the concrete. So obviously I think this will set now and then tomorrow they're gonna carry on with concreting. So there's not really much else to say. All of this is still looking pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just catch up with you tomorrow and hopefully we'll have a lot more concrete here and then um, might be looking like we're gonna be able to start building a new wall as well. Good morning, it is the next day um, and you don't know if you can tell or not, um, to me it feels really bad, but I've had an allergic reaction to something, so I think I know what it is, I think it's a cleanser I was using, um, hence why this side of my face looks very kind of swollen and weird, so we won't show too much of my face on camera today, um, but I just wanted to give you a quick update, I think they've had like a little delivery of, are they breeze blocks, these, these big grey blocks you know I can't remember what they're called but there are a whole load of them lined up here this morning um nothing's been done with them. I think they've just been like placed here uh, because the concrete's still half full at the moment or maybe that's not even half full maybe that's how it's supposed to be I don't know I literally don't know I'm learning every single day the process of what happens but yeah the next thing that's happened is these have been delivered which is obviously going to be part of the external building work which is exciting because that means we hopefully can be moving on to the next stage which will be fun. I realise I haven't showed you what the front is looking like much so here is what the front driveway sort of garden looks like so we have a cement mixer here, piles of stuff here, obviously there's bits and bobs everywhere but it's not too bad we've still got like quite a lot of space around here so it's actually quite tidy. So I think that is going to be all the updates for this video. I know it's kind of looked very similar every day, but again, like I said earlier, just let me know in the comments if, if you'd rather I filmed over a longer period of time so there's more to show you. But things are happening. It's getting there very slowly. But I think with this kind of project, it seems really slow at the beginning, like all of this preparation work. And then all of a sudden, things start getting built up and the last bits happen a lot quicker. And I'm also very excited for the internal bits. I think that's gonna be really exciting too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully when you next see me, um, we won't have this situation on my face, <laughs> which is really annoying. When I first woke up, it was really bad. It was this side as well. and I. As soon as I opened my eyes, I could barely open them and I was like, something's wrong. And I looked in the mirror and thought, oh my God, what have I done? And it was all like squashed. And, and then the builders arrived and I was like, no, I don't want to, I'm not going to see them. So I just left the kettle there and like all their mugs. And I thought they can just make themselves a drink because I don't want to face people like this this morning. <laughs> so hence why I've come out now when they've all gone out for breakfast. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.